Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon and never miss another update from Almighty Java. In this video, we will see what is the difference between function and class components, how to create components in React. There are two possible ways to create a component. Function component class component. Function component. This is the simplest way to create a component. Function components are pure JavaScript functions. The function component is much easier to read and test. The function component accepts the props object as the first parameter and returns React elements. In the function component we can't use state or lifecycle methods, that's the restriction. From React 16.8 we can use state, lifecycle methods, and other features also in function components that is the enhancement, function component syntax. Like I said, this syntax is a pure JavaScript function. The function can accept only one parameter and that parameter is props that is nothing but properties. Here we can't use state and lifecycle methods so no render method directly we are returning. Only one thing is extra so in return, we can write JSX syntax. Class component. Class component syntax adapted from ECMA script 6. Class components have some additional features like state, lifecycle methods like constructor, get derived state from props, render, component did mount. If we want to use state and lifecycle methods related features, then we should use the class component instead of function component. Class component syntax. Like I said, this syntax is in ECMA script 6. Let's do some real time modification. First, let's quickly demo whatever we implemented. Let's update this book. See updated successfully. See here we implemented pagination. First, let's an open app.js file. See this is function component. Here we are not passing any props, so it's optional so if you want you can use it. Let's remove this export default from here and use just before the function. See here we are directly returning, like the syntax we have seen earlier. So this function component by default comes when we create React application. And here we are not using any state and life cycle methods related logic. Now let's open the class component which we created. Let's open welcome JS file. See this is class component. Here we are using render method but we are not using anything related to state or lifecycle methods. So let's covert this class component to function component. First, replace class with a function. Remove this render method. Now remove this extends component also. Remove a component from import also. See that's it. Let's see welcome page still working same as earlier or not. See it's working. I hope now you understood. Let's convert one more component from class to function. Let's open navigation bar JS file. See also we are not using anything related to state or lifecycle methods. Let's add all required changes. See that's it. So create class component only when there is a possibility to use state or lifecycle methods related code. Let's check is navigation working the same as earlier or not? See it's working. Now let's see how to use props as part of function component. Let's see how to pass a value to the component and how to read using props. Let's add changes in app.js file. Because here we are using welcome component. Now let's see how to pass props for this welcome component. So using arrow function we can achieve. Let's add required changes. Now for this welcome component let's make it dynamic heading and description. Now to read those heading and description we need to pass props also in function. Let's create constant for heading and description and assign the value which we are using in welcome component. I hope this is clear for you. Now let's pass these constant and read using props inside the welcome component.
See it is simple, but if you are using class component then you can use everything like state life cycle methods and props also. But if you are using class component then you can use only props. Let's check is this working fine or not? See it is working fine. Let's move this footer also. So before that let's change the name of a description so instead of description change it to quote. Now pass one more property for footer. Or declare this also a constant. Let's quick review whatever changes we added. Let's check is this working fine or not? See it is working fine. I checked in my changes. I will show you from where you can find these. Let's open our GitHub page. See here is the repository. Here are the changes. Here I added a condition so it will not load this card footer until there is the data. That's it for this video. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.